hi how are you welcome to the channel this is my very first video that i'm going to do on some cash stuffing um my name is natasha i am a mum of seven and we are a single income family every week we have different bills and that that go out by direct debit but we take quite a bit of cash out and we stuff them to envelopes because I have found over the years that if I take don't take that cash out that we end up spending it on other things whereas if I take it out like this every week we end up saving an awful lot more money. So this week um, we're going to be cash stuffing 390 euro. So I'm just going to count out the money here. That's 50, 100, two, 150, 200. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. That's 300. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Sorry, I was just interrupted by one of my kids. It's very hard to go anywhere. You don't get too far in this house without somebody following you. So I'm just going to split my money up into the different denominations. So 50, 20s, 10s and 5s. I have my water here too. Because I had COVID before Christmas and I still have a bit of a cough from it. So I have the water there just in case. I also need some small change because we have um, pocket money that I need the small change for for the kids. I'll just pop that up there. So and I have a list. I got this in Mr. Price and I use it every week and I just write out my list of all the different sink and funds that I have and um, how much that I need to put aside that particular week and then the breakdown. So it helps me to set up for the week so much easier. And I even just then I'll just include a few coins on the bottom um, and I'll explain in a bit why I have the 100 envelope challenge here and then just remind me how much I need to put away for the challenge that I'm doing for the one cent challenge. So I'm just going to start off here with the weekly ones. So this is my first uh, binder. Um, I keep my receipts in this. But I'm going to take them out now because I'm starting a fresh week. And then I'm going to go into my first one, which is our food. And I put 150 euro into that for this week. Actually, I'm going to go a step back. Hold on now, I just remembered. I actually need to take some money out for the 100 envelope challenge because we had some money left over last week and it was in our takeaway. So there was a tenner left over from our takeaway and I'm putting more money into it now. So I'm gonna take that five euro or 10 euro out there. And we also had some money left over from our coal that we purchased. Because for some reason, every week we go, it's a different price. So that's 15 euro there that I will be putting to the side. So I'm gonna start again, apologies for that. So I'm gonna put 150 euro into our food shop for the week. So um, last week we completely spent the whole 150 euro, so there was nothing, there was nothing left over. So then we buy turf every week and it's 12 euro, so I'm just going to pop that 12 euro in. And this is where the, the small change is required, because the man comes to our house and... Um, so every week we take the money out and give it to him. It's very rare that he doesn't come, but I still like to have the cash ready for him when he comes to the house. And um, the next one we're gonna do is coal. Our coal is was meant to be 19 euro, so we put 20 euro in every week and then let the rest accumulate, or my husband just might use it for going to the shop, one euro extra for him. And then we have diesel. So diesel is 35 euro every week. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we ended up saving that 35 euro because we didn't use it that much with Christmas and that. So that was a great save. And I used it for my 100 envelope challenge. And if you hear a noise in the background, it's just my kids. Um, I have two, I have a pair of twins. They're 
page three and it can be quite noisy. So for takeaway, it's 25 euro, which is not a lot for our family, but we've cut back on our takeaways and we're trying to do it every second week now. Um, so next week there'll be 50 euro in there. And I find that the more we cut back on our takeaways, the less we actually want to go and get a takeaway. So hair, I get my hair done approximately every seven weeks. Um, so I put 10 euro aside every week for it. So I got it done two weeks ago, as you can see. So I'm just gonna pop in a 10 euro into that. And I get my nails done every four weeks and I'm just gonna pop another 10 euro in there. So next year, next week, it'll be five euro. Let me that page. And then pocket money. So my kids, the three middle kids all get pocket money. And um, they are aged 13, 11 and six. They do extra jobs during the week as well um, to pick up a bit extra cash. But they haven't this week they just um that's what they did so i'm going to take that's 18 euro there normally they just spend it on fortnight or stuff like that my daughter will send, spend it in school for her school lunches Then my daughter started wearing contacts a couple of weeks ago, um, but we haven't had the need to start putting any money aside for it because she has quite a lot of uh, contacts left seeing as she only just started. So that's that one done. So then these ones are more of a long-term saving goals. Um, so I'll just start off with the first one. We have a confirmation in um, April. So I am putting 25 euro aside every week for that. So. There's change in this and I'm just going to take the change out and I'm going to um, swap that 50 in. So that's 25 coming back out. So now I have 100 euro saved. And the next one that I have is for clothes. So this, I, I want to put aside 20 euro every week towards clothes. Um, but I have normally, I always save up all my survey money for it. So there you can see, I got a voucher for 20 euro but this week I also got a uh, 10 euro in my survey money and I am due to get another 10 euro in, in a voucher so what I'm going to do is just put the 10 euro that I got from the surveys in and I'll put the other 10 euro um, gift voucher in when it gets emailed to me and that will bring it to 63.50 for clothes. Birthdays, I put aside 15 euro every week for birthdays um, I find this is the best way to deal with um, our birthday situation because come the middle of the year there is um, March, April, May and June and then my husband in April. There's five birthdays in those months and um, the money just goes very quickly. There's only two weeks between one or uh, two of them so this is the best way for do doing that. Then I have 100 and 60 for birthdays and Christmas so I'm already saving for Christmas I already have 80 euro there because I started at the beginning of the year I'm about to put another 20 and um, another 20 into it so there's 20 more going in there now so that's 80 euro saved already for Christmas I'm going to continue saving 20 euro a week and I have a few other weeks during the year that I know that I can put some extra in. We're going on holidays in June and I've been putting aside 20 euro a week. One week I had spare 5 euro so I popped that in. So that's another 20. That's 80 euro there. And the 5 or so that's 85 already for the holiday put aside. This is just for spending money. Um, this is just my spare change that I have here. Um, any, any loose change that I might have left over, I'll I sometimes pop it in there. And then I'm doing the one cent challenge as well. So now that's the monthlies all done. I'm just going to take it at, and I want to do my two challenges that I have been doing. So I started doing the 100 envelope challenge two weeks ago. Um, so for this, I am trying to hit all the top ones first because I'm sure there's going to be weeks where I'm going to have 
no money left over um, and then I'll do the one, two and three etc. I'm just doing um, the leftover money from last week which is 15 euro and then because I normally put 20 euro into clothes but I got the survey money and I've got the gift coming I'm going to use that money as well so that's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 euros. It's 35 euro going into my envelope challenge and I have my envelopes just over here. I made them myself. I got 33, 34, 35. I'll pop that in. And I'm also going to seal it as well. And I'm just going to mark it off. Thirty-five euro. So I'm doing good so far on my challenge there. And now I'm going to move on to the one cent challenge. So this week I need to save one euro and 75 cent and i'm going to take that out of my miscellaneous little envelope here so that's one euro two four six seven seventy five at the end of the year saving all these small loose change i will have 667 euro and 95 cent saved which is actually quite amazing I will just put that away. I'm just going to get my one cent challenge. I'm just going to pop it in here. So far, I should have four saved. Let me see. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is. Four euro and six cent. It might not seem a lot, but as the weeks go on, that's going to accumulate up to quite an amount of money, really. And it's a great way to use up your spare change and make it kind of exciting to do it. So that is me. And um, that is my cash and drop stuffed for the week. And I just marked that off as the last thing that I got to do. So seven of them. It's my youngest there in the background. Seven. And this is a little um, printable that I made myself. It's available on Etsy. The same with the 100 euro envelope saving challenge. If anybody would like to get it, I'll drop a link in the description below. So thank you very much for watching my first video. Um, the table's a bit shaky because this is my first time with my setup. So hopefully as I go forward, it'll get a lot better. I'll be back again next week with another cash envelope stuffing. Thank you. Thank you.